Azmuth. I've been waiting for your call. Please give me some good news. Vilgax is still searching for you. You still need to hide yourself for a while. Do you have another news? An actual good news? We reached out to one of your kind and he is willing to help us. Who? Spider-Man. However, Spider-Man will need to defeat Vilgax with an Omnitrix. That's where you come in. And you need to make it immediately. Vilgax is getting close to finding you. Let's do it! Come stay, yo fam! You are here, and for today, I'm going to make Spider-Man's Omnitrix. First, I plan out the look of the watch using my Galaxy Tab. It's the first time I'm using this to do my sketch, so it looks pretty messy. Next, I'm going to lay out this sketch to the computer and make the template. Of course, I'll be sharing with you guys this design so we can all have our own Spider-Man Omnitrix. Let's start off by cutting out the pieces from the template. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try it anything. So I'ma just keep buying everything. See you in the next life. These three pieces will be used for the main body of the watch. After cutting them out, I then trace the pieces to an EVA foam. If you don't have an EVA foam, you can use cardboard for your Omnitrix. For that kind of material, you may want to watch my other videos for further instructions. I then extended the edges of these foam pieces for later adjustments. For this Omnitrix, I'll be using this battery-operated light that I bought from an online store. I place the light into the center of the base piece to make my adjustments. After that, I used heat gun to help me shape the foam to my desired form. Then, I glue the portable light into the center of the base by cutting out another foam piece and sticking it onto the back of the base. Following that, I glued the next pieces onto the base of the watch. By the way, if you enjoy watching this video, there are more of these in my channel, so definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. Also guys, please don't forget to like this video as it would help YouTube to recommend this to more viewers which would definitely help out the channel. Thanks in advance, now back to the video.
After gluing the pieces together, I then colored them with acrylic paint. I usually paint these pieces first before stacking them onto one another, but it seemed more convenient for this craft to do otherwise. After painting the straps, I then cut out the spider symbol from the template. For this part, you'll need to use cutter for more precision. Since the other side of the symbol is just similar to what I've already cut out, I decided to only utilize the half part. After that, I transferred the spidey symbol onto a piece of EVA foam. Since I'll be painting this with gold later on, it'll be more convenient to use yellow foam. I then cut out the spidey symbol using a sharp cutting knife. This part needs precision, so if you'll be making your own Spider-Man Omnitrix, remember to have lots of patience. After cutting it out, I then painted the piece with gold. I also painted the edges of the watch straps with the same color. We're almost there! The next thing to do now is to make the alien interface. For that, I cut out these pieces and glued them onto a thin piece of cardboard. I then cut out these pieces and glued them together like so. After that, I painted this piece with silver. When the paint dried, I made this ring piece with blue EVA foam and glued it onto this part. After that, I cut out these pieces printed on photo paper, this piece from a plastic envelope cover, glued these pieces together, and cut out these two other pieces to glue them onto this part like so. Then. I made the button pieces with hot glue. While waiting for the paint to dry, I cut out another pieces of this blue EVA foam and glued them onto the watch frame like this. After that, I took out the gold buttons and glued them onto the watch frame like so. Finally, I put on the following details to complete the look of the Spider-Man Omnitrix. This includes the Infinity Stone. So that's my Spider-Man Omnitrix and I hope you guys like it. Now before we end this video, shout out to these awesome YoFam for sharing with us their inventions. Way to go guys and I hope you'll stick around for more crafts. So that is it for today, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.